Hello everybody, ciao a tutti and welcome to Art With Me Speak. Today I'm going to guide you in a beautiful, mindful, silent practice. If you're new to this channel, silent practice are practices that are like a medium short. They are usually based of, on a zentangle, organic and geometric pattern, something that imply a repetition of simple element that can help us to, to um, build rhythm and stay focused and relaxed at the same time. But we are going to do it completely silently, which means that after, after instructions, when I turn my camera, the camera to my hands, I will just practice and I'm not going to speak at all and I'm not going to use any music at all. I highly encourage you to try Find yourself at the quietest spot that you can find in your home, sit in a comfortable position, prep your materials, and just to practice. And just stay focused on what your hands are doing on the paper, breathe deeply and intentionally, and see what happens. Now, if you are new to the silent practice and silence might be a little like uncomfortable for you, you can use uh, some music, but make sure that it's something extremely relaxing, not too loud, not words, so instrumental, so it doesn't really uh, become a distraction for you, but actually will help you to embrace the practice as well. I started to do silent practice uh, probably a few months ago, and I find them extremely beneficial, at least for me. They are working very, very well because we live in a very noisy world, overstimulating. And so I feel that it's important to find that quiet, but really quiet time uh, to just be connected and be present to ourselves and to our own experience. For this practice, you will need your journal, if you have been practicing on one, or a mix and media paper. I highly encourage you to keep all the paper together in a nice and neat and organized way, so you can always go back, redo some practice, uh, compare and contrast, and see the improvement. Um, any markers, like any brand that you have available, I'm going to use like a alcohol markers, dual tip, uh, when they have a small tip, uh, and a bigger one, they're very convenient. But let me tell you, if you have a Crayola markers for, you know, or Scholastic markers, it is okay. Remember that my videos are um, meant to be flexible and the practice can be adapted to your need and also to your possibility. Then a pencil for drawing, something circular to create a circle like a grab a ball from the kitchen, flip it upside down on the paper and trace the circle, and then an extra fine black markers. All is included in the description box. So whenever you're ready, you can pause the video, prep the material, and practice along with me, or you can watch the video, speed it up maybe a little bit, and then practice at your own time and convenience without looking at the screen or the computer. Once again, you need to do you. My videos work very well both ways. If you look at them and then you practice, or if you practice with me, pausing the video if you're going slower, uh, finish it before me if you go faster, you know, we are in this together. And as I say, focus on the process more than on the final product. Be flexible, use the material that you have available, and just cut yourself these 30, 40 minutes per week that you can just practice some art, training your fine model skills, and also helping yourself to reset, refocus, and be really in charge of your mind and be really present. So I'm going to switch the camera, and I'll see you after the practice.
Okay, this is how it went. And I really enjoy these beautiful, colorful, organic patterns that we created together. I don't know if you noticed, I definitely did, that at one point uh, the lamp that hold my phone and so the camera was going, I just was sliding down and I didn't even notice at the beginning, which is the proof that these silent practice are really, really helpful for your focus because I was completely into my practice that I was forgetting about everything else. However, I'm glad that I cut that in time. And so I finished the practice working with my left hand because I'm left-handed and holding the lamp with the camera with my right hand. So you will see some movement. Probably you saw some movement in that, but it is okay. As I say, the video was not compromised. The quality of the images, the beginning and the building of the shapes was totally fine. And I really avoid as much as possible editing just because unless it's necessary, of course, for um, to make sure that you can understand exactly what we are doing. But I think that when something like this happened, tiny little accidents here and there uh, makes me more like a, you know, spontaneous and uh, really truly honest uh, in this is what I am and this is what sometimes happens in life and it's okay. We embrace uh, even when the video is not perfect or when the practice is not perfect because we can still take so much out of it. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did and I hope you really try with completely silent, zero noises, zero music. If you didn't, it is okay. You will have another opportunity. I try to publish a one silent practice per month and um, Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and maybe you click the button for notifications so you will be notified every time that I publish a new video. Share and spread the words and help this beautiful community to grow. Thank you so very much and have a wonderful day. Ciao a tutti!